Welcome back everyone to the second episode of the solo series for the Rust console edition pre-order beta. I hope you guys really enjoyed the first video. There is more of the same in this video today. And if you do enjoy my content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. I am going to be covering Rust on console quite heavily going forwards. And I've got a lot of ideas up my sleeve in terms of Rust console content. I'm going to be doing tips, strategy, settings, and of course, lots more uh, gameplay edits as well. So if that's something you're interested in, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Okay, time to make ourselves our first workbench. So this is essentially what's gonna let us craft most low tier items. I think we'll whack some sulfur in that furnace. I'm wondering if I start to run a double barrel, but I should probably research it before I start to run it. Cause I don't want, I've got two of them, but I wanna make sure that I can craft those if I happen to lose one. Okay, got the workbench. Where should we whack him down? Maybe just like in this corner for now. Not bad. Uh, so now we should be able to craft a few other items. And for those who are interested, in the description of this video, I've left a link to the Rust wiki page, which describes what tier workbench crafts what items. And you can also experiment at the workbench with scrap to gain uh, the blueprint of an item of the corresponding tier for that workbench. But I'll let you guys check that out. Okay. Oh, that's bright. <laughs> Why is it so bright? Well, this guy's currently upgrading, I think. Okay, there's at least two in there. Definitely would have heard that, surely. Man, I can't even see their freaking, <laughs> their freaking doorway. <laughs> I don't know if he's gonna open this door. Like, I kind of get the feeling he is gonna open the door. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, he's gonna get, he's gonna get a bit of a scare. <laughs> or he's gonna have a shotgun, I don't know. Either or. A few moments later. Okay, mate. You win this round. So after an underwhelming door camp attempt, I decided to check out the launch site and go for a roam. So we'll smack all these barrels and then we'll go and uh, recycle them. And hopefully we come across like a military crate. If we get lucky, we might find ourselves like a revolver or something, some sort of weapon. I wouldn't actually mind like a crossbow as well. Yeah, that would be the, the tank, old Bradley the tank. Fuck off Bradley. A repair bench in there? I did not know that. So on PC, there's like uh, military crates in a few places. I don't know if it's the same on console, but I guess we'll soon find out. There is someone here. I need to kill this person. Oost! <laughs> so we'll study those blueprints so I can make those things. There's not really much there that I want, is there? <laughs> Man, that... <laughs> that would have scared that dude so bad. 
It's a madman coming around the corner with a machete. <laughs> the recycler at uh, launch pad is across the other side here. We'll go chuck our components in there. Bradley, the tank's back. Sheep. Yeah, we'll come out this side. We'll follow that little path around. Head back to base. Try and depot before we get killed. But if there's one thing that you guys know about me, it's that I get easily distracted. There is a lot of a lot of loot here. A lot of uh, resources. Mm, there is a little base down there. Just want to give it a quick sus. Well, there's a guy there. Get it off. I gotta run. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You don't even have any room for loot. Such an idiot, man. <laughs> oh my god. Get me out of here. I don't know how many people are in that clan, but there's more than one. There's more than me. So I'm dipping. There's bases going up left, right, and center, man. I really kind of wish that uh, proximity chat was enabled because it would be cool to be friends with my neighbors. I don't want to have this immediate feeling like I'm about to be attacked like right now. God, he's lagging. That's what you get. That's what you get. He had a metal axe as well. Metal hatchet. Um, I'm happy about that. <laughs> I'm happy about that, dude. What a dog. He came straight for me. It really makes me want to camp their door with a shotgun. But we'll keep moving. We'll go back to our original plan. So the original plan being checking out what these dudes on the coast are doing. Hopefully trying to catch one of them out farming. Seeing if we can get away with some loot.
Oh my god. He just killed his teammate. stash this and go back. Oh, fuck. Fuck off, dude. I'm gonna come straight up the guts. See if I can kill this guy while he's while he's uh, upgrading his foundation of his base. <sighs> I thought that guy was chasing someone. I don't know if he was shooting at me. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. Well, I guess we'll head back. See if I can get my bow and arrow back. Might even be able to snag that guy's shotgun. <laughs> Who knows? So as you can tell, it's very easy to get distracted in this game. My plan initially was to try and grind components and see if I could get a weapon, like an AK. Which takes a long time to get, but uh, we've ended up just having a blast running around having primitive fights with people. Which in my opinion is like the best fun that you can have in Rust. Raiding with rockets and C4 is, is epic and is really exciting. But there's just something about an innocent little bow fight. That is just so, so enjoyable. What is going on? <laughs> what are they doing? Are they fighting each other? <laughs> are they all on the same team? I'm so confused. But I'm just going to whack a little like 2 by one down here. And so that's exactly what I did. And I got it down just in time too. He had a satchel, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's just dump all this. Oh man, he just brought me a satchel. King NZ. Where have I seen that name before? 
King and Z. Now I didn't actually notice this at the time, but I had met this fella before. The poor noob trying to get his base down from episode 1. I had felt sorry for him at the time. King and Z, I feel so bad. But now at least, I could sleep peacefully, knowing that he'd tried to do me in with a water pipe shotgun. But anyway, enough reminiscing. I decided to head back to the PvP base for one last look. Okay, see if we can't snag ourselves some more uh, double barrels. Oh <laughs> uh, well, oh uh, well, we might need to call it an after tonight. <laughs> oh man, still a good time, it's still good fun, it is still good fun. Well, I think I'll, uh, I think I'm going to log off there tonight, I might just, you know, upgrade this base a little bit as best as I can, but hey, it's been a, it's been a pretty eventful first little session on this wipe and you know provided that when i log in tomorrow after work i'm not raided i've got a few things in store like i, I think that i i definitely want to get some sort of assault rifle whether it's an ak or not you know that's kind of like the end goal but i would like to get some sort of assault rifle go and practice some you know try out some pvp with a proper weapon that isn't just a bow and i'd like to get like a crossbow and a few other bits and pieces and to be honest man it's like it's just so fun going around trying to eco raid or pvp with with bows and spears and stuff it's just been a really fun time so i think i'm just gonna you know whack these things down and we're gonna call it there for today thanks for watching i'll be back and we'll, we'll see how day two of this wipe plays out